Yo, what's up guys? Today's a rainy day and uh, my car axle's finally giving up. It's on the driver's side. My, pass my passenger is still good. But then, you guys will see it in a little bit here. Because the car's it's not, I've done not to it. And uh, yeah, it's a rainy day so I got it beside the garage. And it's kind of wet. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to, uh, I guess, Basically, I'm almost doing the lift in the front, but then really the, the suspension is going to be right on there. And uh, that's basically prying it back up. Yeah, and then let's just get on doing it. All right, well, here's the axle bind. It's finally gave up, and let me focus. This whole side here, all this around there. Yeah, this boot here, this top of the boot be rubbing on here for the axle bind. And now it's the axle, the boot is just fucked and all the grease is everywhere. You can see all down there, all the grease is everywhere. Yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna take this axle out and we do everything. We're gonna need a 36. Got to that with this uh, axle nut. First, you gotta bang this little. You gotta bang this guy back out. And that's so that we can put the 36 on there. Well, I'm stupid. I could put the wheel done it when the wheel was on. Well, let me do that. Well, you guys be asking me, a lot of you guys, how to run spacers on it. I ran all these when I had the steel wheels because uh, it would hit the caliper right here. So then I had to uh, run these so clear. Which you can find these autos on all day long, which they are. We got no riding on it, so yeah. So we're gonna take the forks right here. We'll take the nut off the forks. So that guy kind of stuck in it. So I'm gonna take off the upper control arm. Which is, oh, we're taking off that uh, upper control arm nut. One here, and one back here. Right there, with the light shining right there. So before I'm gonna take that off, I'll put a jack under under here so whenever I take it off and the whole thing won't clap down too hard now I got it off so now I gotta do the calipers so then I was like fuck it I'm gonna use the compress I'm gonna compress the spring down so I could get this darn nut over here out. This motherfucker is stuck in there. Make it easier. Yep, here we go. Uh, well, there's where I'm at now. I just took the forks out. And uh, it's the 14 socket. All right, here are we looking at? Looking at this part here, we're gonna bang this out that way. What we're gonna use is a hammer. And that's out. What's up? Got it out? Yep. About time. Let's 
Oh, it's a bit. Oh, it's a bit. So, finally got the axle out. And the problem is over here. But there's a hole. Yeah. Where's rubbing? See all these pieces of shit. There's the new axle. And uh, I'm about to install it in. Well, I finally got it in. So I put everything else back together. Alright. Now here's the moment that everybody always asks me questions about. Is how to get... You could say... How to get this fork onto the local controller. Well, first... You don't have to have it, but if you had the money to get it, and then you get a spring compressor, compress the spring. And then after that, just work your way in there. See how much room you got to work. Yeah, that's the uh, kind of suck, but I'm trying my best to get it. This is what you want to do. You want to put a flathead. Let's see. Flathead inside. Inside there. Kind of pry it up. Gotta kind of pry it up like that. So to move like that. Like this. Which I am on an uh, inch and a half spacers. Since you're doing that side, you gotta put the nut on this side here. And that's it. Yo, what's up? Yesterday I was doing my uh, axles, but then uh, it got dark, so I got all the footage that I could. And uh, was it? Yeah, I I got that done yesterday. And then today I gotta put my uh, cam sail in. Let's see, I can find it. Put it in my pocket. Sale like that is because our Honda motors I know that the cam sale with the, the plastic one here is known to leak a lot. Might be leaking. Yeah. This you could tell that it's it's been a previous owner silicone dick. And uh that did okay. Uh, still got buy one for my other car. And I just thing sucks is I just put this uh, valve cover gasket in too, so I'm gonna have to tear tear that apart. I'm gonna try to reuse it and go from there. Proving I'm wrong. They wanna give me a record deal to control me official. It's because of them. They don't want to empower, they want to win and spend all of the money on products. Oh, you fucking serious. But I'm a different state. I'd rather crash a car than never touch the brake. I built this in forward. They're just the ones, the ones that are looking for apologies. Hate real loud, but they follow me screaming at the top of their life. I'm not even gonna lose my car for fucking long, but it's gonna be Oh yeah, got the RV done. I didn't video it because uh, I forgot to, and uh, yeah. So everything's done now. So yeah, low battery. Yeah, everything's done, so that's a wrap. Just like and subscribe if you guys want to. And, uh, yeah. Peace out.